Hey, what's up? This is Santosh here. There are many uh, online tools with which you can create logo for your business or even create logo for your uh, design projects. Uh, I myself use about two to three design tools whenever I want to create logo. Uh, depends on uh, what I am doing. If it is a project, then I'll probably create logos through uh, Canva or maybe Illustrator. If it is not, if it is just a quick logo that I'm looking for, maybe for my product or maybe for a presentation of mine, then I will use something like Click Designs or even Luca. I have been using Luca for about four to five months, and I use Luca very, very specifically for uh, certain purposes. I use it for creating logos as well. I also use it for uh, getting inspiration inspirations of uh, logos when I am planning when I am creating a logo for a certain project if it comes up with a logo good then I'll use the same logo but if it does not then it will at least give me some ideas on how uh, the logo can be because Luca is like a AI platform which generates multiple logos based on your uh, inputs okay so uh, in this video what you're going to what we are going to do is we're going to review uh, Luca and uh, you're going to learn how to use Luca to create logo for your business or for your products or for any of your uh, business presentation titles and uh, things like that. Okay, so let's go to Luca. Okay, here we are in uh, Luca. So the link is over here. Uh, once you go to this website, you'll be looking at this page. It may not look the same depending on when you are watching it. At the time of me recording it, this is how it looks. Okay. So on this uh, website, I have not signed up yet. Uh, I'm going to create a logo as a guest as of now, okay? So enter your company name. So let's say my company name is, uh, I'm going to call it as Healthy Clan, okay? So this company is, uh, is in the health niche. This is not a real company, it's just for demonstration, okay? So uh, once you put in your company name here, just click on get started. And when you hit get started, it's going to ask you uh, to pick an industry. All right. So the industry is health and nutrition. So there is, these are all the different uh, industry under health niche. So I'm going to choose maybe health and wellness and click on continue. So depending on what business you are into, you can choose your business niche here. So once you hit continue, it's going to auto-generate some uh, logos. This is just uh, uh, for a Luca to get an idea of what kind of logo you're looking at. There are different logo types. So depending on what your business is, you can choose uh, the logo type that you want. I have created a separate video on that, on how to choose logo types and things like that, or what logo types are. You can have a look at it. I leave the link on the top left hand side. Click on it and uh, check that video out as well. So once you know what your logo type is, choose your logo over here. Maybe this one. Okay, You can choose as many as you want. I usually choose maybe two to three. Okay. So maybe this one. And something like this okay so hit continue now it's going to ask you to choose colors so choose your color so depending on what your color palette is uh, just add your primary color here so pick some uh, colors let's say I'm in the health niche so I'll be looking at something around green so I'll select green and hit continue So there is a slogan that you can add. I generally don't add slogans to logos. It's a personal choice because uh, I don't want slogan to be part of the logo because when I use logos on any of these online medias, there is a possibility that my tagline may not be visible. So I just want the symbol of the logo and the name of the logo, that's it. Taglines, I might use it in my uh, marketing or in my social media posts or maybe in my promotions, but not in the logo okay so i'll just put it as i'll leave it empty and i hit continue now it says pick some symbol types there are a couple of things you can do you can pick your own symbols if you want from here okay or you can just say pick symbols for me so i'm going to choose health maybe yoga maybe wellness 
healing. Okay, I think that should do. Hit continue. This is an easier way to do it. You'll save a lot of time. If you get into picking up symbols, then you'll have to look. If you already have something in mind, then you can look for the particular symbol over here and uh, select it. Okay. What I usually do is I just select our categories and hit continue. So you can add more colors over here if you want. So now what Luca is doing is Luca is generating logos depending on my, depending on the inputs that I have given. Okay. So you can choose, you can select a logo now uh, to customize. Find something that you like and uh, then you can start customizing it. And continue as guest. See, if you sign up to Luca, what can happen is you will be able to edit your logo as well. For whatever reason, you close out of this and uh, you, if you want to re-edit the logo, maybe tomorrow or something, you can sign in and your logo will be there and you can edit it. That is how you can uh, edit uh, the logo that is already created in Luca. Okay. If you sign in as a guest, then uh, this won't be there tomorrow. It's gone. Okay. So if you're not happy with the uh, logos that is generated by Luca, you can click on load more logos. It's going to load more logos. So uh, what happens here is one, you will get, uh, you, you'll be able to see multiple logos that are generated and you can use this as an inspiration if you are creating logos on a different designing software. Okay. But if you find a logo that you like over here, then you can continue with it. Maybe something like load more. Cool. Right. So I like this one. Let me customize this. So click on customize. And now it will take you to the Luca dashboard where you will be able to customize it and also see how it will look in the different places. You can click on these things, uh, business cards, email signatures and all of this and it will show you how it looks. Let me just open one of these. It will automatically create business cards based on the logo that you have selected. You see this, all of this will be auto generated. These are the different business card designs that you can have. You can change color. You can do a lot of different things. But as of now, I have just, uh, you know, clicked on it just to show you the different templates that it's going to come up with. So let's go back here. Now here, uh, this is the logo that you've selected. Now you can also make changes over here. Let's say, uh, see, these are the suggested ones. This is done layout. If I go to layout, it's going to change the way the logo looks, the layout of the logo. See this. Now this symbol is in the middle. If I like this, then I can click on this. It will change the layout. So that's with the layout and then the color palette. Now I had selected green. I can always, always change the color scheme here as well. I can choose classic. I can choose calm. So I'm going to choose maybe calm is a good one. Something like this. This looks good, right? So I'm going to select this. That's about it. More ideas. If you're looking for more ideas, then click on this. It will give you some more options. I would like to change the font. So I can choose this. Change the font as well. Okay, so there are many more options you can go through and see if there is anything that is better than this and you can choose that. Then background, background I would like to keep it black. I'm going to keep the background as black. Name is fine. If you want to change the name, you can change it, but we're not going to do it because this is the company name. You can change the color. It's all, it has already selected a nice uh, green color, so I'm not going to change it. I'm going to leave that. Slogan, if you want to add the slogan, you can do that. And this is how the slogan will be placed. It will show you different options over here with 
different fonts okay so you can add your slogan and it will be added symbol if you're not happy with the symbol you can also change the symbol show you different symbols over here find something that you like and you'll be able to change it so i'm going to leave it as it is this is fine container if you want a container around the text like this this is a box container this one a line it'll give you multiple options you can choose something from here okay and this is your history all the changes that you have made so once you have you have uh, finalized your logo and let's say this is my logo and i'm happy with it maybe i would like to change one small thing in this change this color to white like that click on this you'll be able to change the color to white okay this looks good right so once you're happy with your logo all you have to do is click on download and uh, you'll be able to download if you're signed in. Now here is the thing. Uh, Luca is not for free. They have subscriptions. Okay, so when I click on, let's say, logo, fi logo files, it's going to give me all these different uh, logo files in PNG, PDF and uh, vector format. Vector format is very useful because with this, the logo that you download, uh, the once you download the vector file, you will be able to edit the same logo in other design softwares as well. So if you are giving this logo to, let's say, a print shop or maybe uh, to your marketing team or if you are outsourcing this, outsourcing your uh, rest of your designs to somebody, you can share the vector files. They'll be able to uh, edit the logo if required in their own software. Okay, so that is possible as well. So once you're happy with this, click on, let's say, you can get the entire brand kit, which means they're going to give you all of these, all these templates with your logo inserted. Okay, that is the brand kit. But here, what we're going to do is, we just need the logo. I'm going to, let's say, click on brand kit and download. When I do this, these are the options that I'm going to get. These are the subscription options. One is basic logo package, which is at $20. I highly recommend you don't take this because with this, you're going to get one logo file and it's not going to be transparent. You're going to waste the, your $20, completely wasted, okay? What I would suggest is go for this premium logo package. This is a good one where you'll get um, high resolution file types, including vector files okay you don't need all the brand kits here you can always create brand kits using uh, something like canva canva is an amazing design tool it has it will give you more options as far as templates are concerned okay so once you have created your logo if you are happy with your logo you can use this option select and download these two i personally don't recommend and i don't see a uh, value in this i rather have the only I rather only download the logo and use that logo in uh, through my other design software it's like Canva. I use Canva a lot, so I'll use Canva there uh, to create the rest of the brand kit. Okay, so this is what I would suggest you do. So once you have downloaded it, you will be able to edit this logo file in the future as well. If you want to make changes to the logo, just sign in and uh, make edits to it, and you have. Uh, support as well if there is any issues and all they provide i have not tried it personally so i don't know okay i generally use luca for inspirations only till as of today i haven't purchased any lo uh, logo from uh, luca because i have been using luca luca to uh, get uh, logos for inspiration i because it generates a uh, great looking logos most of the times right so i use it only for that so far i have not come up with any logo which i have liked in luca and uh, downloaded it straight off the bat okay if you come up with a logo like that and uh, you would like to download then use this option and let me know in comments as well if you have downloaded and leave a link to uh, the logo that you created uh, using luca that'll be great okay so that's about it this is just a simple review so um, go ahead try it out uh, creating a logo in luca is for free 
downloading is what you need to pay so you use it for getting inspirations or you can also use it for creating your own logo but make sure you buy the premium logo package and not rest of the subscription because this is what you actually need okay rest of the things you can create using uh, other design tools like canva so about it luca is great for uh, beginners as well so if you are uh, getting into designing and uh, if you want to create logos then luca is a great place to start it will auto generate logos and help you with uh, uh, getting uh, logos for your business or even for your project or for your inspiration for logo inspirations as well okay so go ahead try it out and whatever logo that you are able to generate make sure you drop a link in comments and let me have a look at it okay so that's about it for today if you're not part of my uh, design clan group then uh, I, there's a link under description you can be part of that group and share your work over there as well i'll have a look at it and if you like this video uh, make sure you hit the like button and also hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any future videos that upload I, that i upload in this uh, channel okay so that's about it this is santosh here thank you for watching have a wonderful day